Welcome to Seeking Alpha's Wall Street Breakfast, where we cover the top news for investors every morning. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd. I'm Julie Morgan. McDonald's takes a hit. Spirit and Frontier are reportedly in talks again. And Disney wants every penny of its subscription fees. McDonald's disclosed on Tuesday that initial findings from an investigation into an E. coli outbreak indicate that a subset of illnesses may be linked to slivered onions used in the Quarter Pounder, also known as the Royale with cheese, and sourced by a single supplier that serves three distribution centers. The restaurant chain said that in line with its safety protocols, all local restaurants have been instructed to remove the product from their supply, and McDonald's has paused the distribution of all slivered onions in the impacted area. The Chicago-based company also temporarily removed the quarter pounder from restaurants in the impacted areas, including Colorado, Kansas, Utah, and Wyoming, as well as portions of Idaho, Iowa, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nebraska, Nevada, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. The CDC said the outbreak involved 49 incidents across 10 states, with one death and 10 hospitalizations being reported. The person who died after contracting E. coli was described by Colorado health officials as being older and with underlying conditions. On Wall Street, TD Cohen analyst Andrew Charles said the firm's quick franchisee checks suggested McDonald's is on top of the issue and that it seems largely contained. Charles said it is only natural to expect a short-term impact on sales. Based on the food contamination analogies of Chipotle in 2015 and Jack in the Box in 1993, Charles and his team estimate that every 1% annualized change in U.S. same-store sales will lead to a $0.09 EPS impact. T.D. Cohen sees a worst-case scenario hit to Q4 EPS of $0.37. Shares of McDonald's are down more than 6% in pre-market action. Spirit Airlines is up 17 percent pre-market after a report that the discount airline has had early-stage merger talks with Frontier Group. According to a Wall Street Journal report on Tuesday, which cited people familiar with the matter, the two low-cost carriers have had recent talks about a potential merger. If a deal between the two carriers is agreed to, it would likely happen as part of Spirit restructuring its debt and other liabilities in a bankruptcy. If you remember, Spirit attempted to merge with JetBlue only to have it blocked by a federal judge in January, who considered the marriage between the two lower-cost carriers as anti-competitive. Since that decision, Spirit shares have collapsed by 86 percent. Frontier Airlines originally agreed to buy Spirit in February of 2022 in a $2.9 billion cash and stock deal, though JetBlue ended up winning a nasty bidding war for the low-cost carrier. Spirit Airlines has a short interest of 33%. Disney is no longer allowing new customers to sign up for Hulu or Disney Plus via Apple's App Store. The company is now telling its would-be customers to pay for subscriptions on their own website instead of Apple's App Store. However, if you've already started paying for either service via Apple, you can keep doing that. Apple takes up to 15% of the monthly fees from customers who sign up for the subscription services, and Disney CEO Bob Iger said back in May that he does not want to pay that anymore and wants to change the way his company looks at distribution. Of course, I have a few other articles that I'd like to share with you that you can find on Seeking Alpha. Meta wins a lawsuit dismissal over child safety allegations, according to a report. Another report says ARM will cancel its chip design license deal with Qualcomm over a contract dispute. And the oil industry averts a Gulf of Mexico shutdown as a judge extends the environmental review deadline. On our catalyst to watch for the day, Boston Scientific will hold its Q3 earnings call at 8 a.m. and investors will see if the company gives any updates on the Exonix deal. And Tesla will hold its earnings conference call at 5.30 p.m. A point of major emphasis will be Elon Musk's commentary on the timing of a new mass-market cheaper electric vehicle, as well as the latest updates on FSD, energy storage business, and robo-taxi developments. EV stocks with the tightest trading correlation to Tesla after earnings include Rivian Automotive, 
Faraday Future Intelligent, and NEO. Meanwhile, Uber has had a negative trading correlation to Tesla on days with robo-taxi developments. Now for a look at the markets today, as of 6 a.m., Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ futures are in the red. Crude oil is down 1% at $71 a barrel. Bitcoin is down 0.7% at $66,000. In the world markets, the FTSE 100 is down 0.2% and the DAX is flat. Starbucks is on our list of the biggest movers of the day pre-market. Despite increasing its dividend by 7%, Starbucks is down 5% due to disappointing preliminary fourth quarter results. On today's economic calendar, at 10 a.m., existing home sales, at 11 a.m., the Treasury buyback announcement, and at 2 p.m., the Fed's Beige Book. That's it for today's Wall Street Breakfast. Thanks for listening. To take full advantage of Seeking Alpha, join the highest quality community of real investors discussing stocks and ETFs at seekingalpha.com slash subscriptions. I'm your host, Julie Morgan. Go out and make it a great day.